G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully doing very well, keeping you safe. Well, we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna to have a look into a rolling backpack. Now, this is my own backpack. This is the Samsonite Guard It 2. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because when I was trying to purchase a really backpack, I could not find much information about this. There was only very limited photos, so I thought I might just do it as a community service and actually show this backpack off. And if you're interested, go for it, buy one. But this is I love this backpack, it's absolutely fantastic for traveling and for me when I'm actually working and I move a lot of laptops as you already know from this channel. And this has been oh, a godsend backpack, love it. Anyway, we're gonna go through one of the first things we can see is this is a rolling backpack. So at the top here, we do have a nice pull-up handle. Now this pull-up handle does go all the way and I'm pretty tall and that is a very good hack handle it's actually very well built and i've got to say the wheels on this are on the back here they are very smooth i've been ran through a lot of bitumen a lot of things and it is absolutely fantastic and again this is able to do a carry-on this is absolutely fantastic i have done day trips uh, over in the state and this is i love this backpack anyway we're going to go through the pockets and the compartments and we're going to actually use a real items so you get a bit of idea of dimension of this bag and also its capacity and what it's capable of. Now, first off is just the front here. Now, this is a nice little red decoration in the front. There is no functionality, it just looks nice. That's pretty much about it. Now, we do have a front side pocket at the front here and it is it does have enough room, they say, for an iPad. Now, I do have an iPad here and this is probably a 11 inch iPad or 10 inch iPad, whatever you want to call it. And I really haven't found it able to fit in here. now. The, the reason is, even though I do have a bit of a tough case built into it, is that the opening is just not large enough to put a 10 or 11 inch iPad. It does have the physical ability to feel it. I can feel it that goes exactly it, but it's just a, because it really hits on the edge, you just can't really put it in. So you can put something else in and that's just to give you an idea of that one there. Now, the next one is, I'm just gonna zip it up. And the next one is, is the front compartment here. Now it's a nice that you can actually run this all the way down so you can actually open this up now it does stop you from as as you can see from here it really much stops you from here now we do have a front pocket at the front here and then it's actually quite deep or you can see quite large you can actually get for right later and then we've got another one with a bit of a, a spring here just to get hold it in so again you've got another compartment here and then you've got another two more compartments at the front top here and another two more so we've got four in total and then you've got two pen slot holes as you can see with it now i normally would put in my good hole and extra adapter for things uh, i also put in my power bank this is for laptop power bank and i'll actually put in a drink bottle here now that's what that's normally there and i actually carry a spare battery that's also a light as well too uh, i actually carry that that's kind of what i would get an idea that's what i normally put into here and i'll just zip this thing up just a bit of ideal that comes through but that's a nice compartment that you can put it all the way through the next compartment is the laptop part and the laptop part you can go all the way down to there now this doesn't open all the way like the front one can do and you can see it all here now we do have another inside cert which you can actually put in and you can just put in other extra bits it does go all the way down to about i'll say about two thirds all the way through to the pocket. So that's a nice little compartment here. Now we also have another extra compartment in the front pocket. Now you can just put in some maybe little cables or stuff or even the power adapter here. And then this is the laptop compartment where you more than put in. Now this says it's, it goes up to a four, uh, 15 inch. Now I have a few sizes and you've got this laptop strap here, which now I don't really use the laptop strap because I put a lot of laptops in. I usually carry about two to three laptops in this thing. So you can see how wide this thing is. Now I'm gonna just start off with a 13 inch laptop. So I've got here right now, I'm gonna put this on the side. Uh, this is a 13 inch yoga. This is yoga book, this is a new yoga book for Lenovo. You'll see this in the review soon. And I'll just put it in a compartment, just to get a bit of idea how much that you Uses. It doesn't use very much of this here, so that's a 13 inch. Now I'm gonna move this across. This is a 14 inch laptop here. This is the Zeus ZenBook 14 OLED, and that's a 14 inch. So I'll just chuck that in, just give you an idea how that kind of easily fits that, no problems at all. And I've got here, right next one is a 16 inch laptop so this is a little bit higher than what it's meant to be says on the paper 15 inch and i am easily able to put that in 
quite easily. Now I can, I don't have a 17 inch with me, but I can see a 17 inch would probably just be able to fit there. It will be just pushing it, but it will be able to fit there in. And I normally do carry, like I said, I usually carry about two to three laptops with me. You can see that is quite, and I actually, like I said, oh, we're gonna chuck in all three, so just to have an idea of what it looks like. And that's three laptops there, and that's that that's a nice holder there. And you can actually, even if you wanna use a strap, use a strap. Plug that in. So, just to give you an idea of that. Now, I'm just take all three laptops out. That's the 16 to 13 inch. I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can see. Now, I know someone's going to ask me about this, and I have probably the largest laptop I can possibly find. I don't think there's any larger than this on the market. This is the Alienware M18. This is an 18 inch laptop. Now, it will not, I have tried fit into the front part. It is not able to do that, uh, as you can probably just barely fit it in, but it's not able to zip it in, as you can see. So this is pushing it. 17 inch you can do, but 18 inch, no way, Jose. Now I'm gonna just move this across and we're gonna move to the next compartment here. All right, let's move up to the next one. The next one is, let's just pull all the way through. Again, you can push this all the way down here to the very end. It's really nice and it's really nice. You can actually look, use it like a luggage. As you can see, it has a full opening. Now you can choose not to do that because they have a Velcro and also things where you can actually, and you can see we've also got straps if you want to use this uh, for as a luggage, which is great. I have used this as a day travel carry on, fantastic. And then this is the, just to protect the pulley carry on. Now you can actually, let me do this for you, is Velcro this and then just put a nice little button and you can actually just go all the way down through here. I'll do the same thing on this side here and what that does is it limits it to that much here. So, and again, I can put 18 inch laptop here now like i said the problem is actually closing it and i do need to stretch this a little bit uh, but as you see I've, I've stretched that in and i have uh, where is the zipper here there we go zip the string up voila an 18 inch can fit into the main compartment just to let you know then i'm just going to switch this around I'm back here now the back here does have your I've just, I've, you see, I've actually tied it up just to make it look as I don't really use this as a backpack. I have used it a few times. It is quite comfortable. This does not hit on the back at all. It's actually quite nice. So you can actually adjust this and I've just actually just velcro that. And at the bottom here, there is a rain cover. Now the rain cover isn't for the whole backpack. It's actually just for the wheels. So if you just call this and then you get some wheels, you can actually cover this. And then just when you're traveling, it's just not gonna, you know, get all wet on your clothes or whatever you're wanting to put in. It's a courtesy thing more than anything else. So that's that there. Now you do see if we just flip it around at the bottom here, we do have it's these for, uh, for the rain cover for the wheels. Uh, we do have a lift handle so you can lift this up like this. And as I've actually just duct taped it just to give it a little bit more smoothing and to last a little bit longer. And that's pretty much a bit. Now we do have two pockets on the side. Now these pockets on the side is really for really, really slim bottles or what I would normally put in is uh, in case there is sometimes uh, wet weather uh, that's really good for uh, umbrella more than anything else because it's just too small for a normal size water world but fantastic for a uh, umbrella and then this is the sunglass here so nice little compartment for sunglasses and you'll probably see this is just a nice little felt things great things here for sunglasses there and then we also have this nice little top compartment, which is for the pull-up handle. And this is actually a nice solid handle. Now with the laptop compartment area, the zipper here, it does have an interlock between the two, so you can actually close it off and then put in a combination lock here, which means you can then hopefully be able to lock this up when you're traveling. So it's just nice to have that ability to do that for this backpack. I think this is a very good quality wheeling 
backpack. Now, the only thing I would probably say that I would like to see maybe a little bit of improvement is just the handle here. Now, I do carry a lot of heavy laptops and stuff like that, and I don't know how long this is gonna last in time for this, as the, hopefully the stitching will be able to last long enough. I have seen they have another one, which is actually a much bigger handle for the top, as this is what I use more than actually using the back straps at all. So that's the only thing I would have my maybe Connor is that maybe it's just the only thing I'm real worried about it would be nice to have a bigger handle at the top here and that's pretty much about it but else I love this backpack absolutely fantastic now I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it if you did even support my channel smash that like button for me and share this video it does help me out as well too and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and I'll see you next video